unions and tourism groups are calling on the Biden administration to lift COVID-19 restrictions on international travel starting on May 1st. Everyone is taking the vaccine. I mean, and people taking more precaution in New York, I should say, than other states. We're really getting to the point where opening up international travel again could easily become a reality, but we have to plan for it. On Monday, more than two dozen groups made their request in a letter to the White House, which asked for a timeline with benchmarks driven by data. We definitely feel like the light is at the end of the tunnel. All of the public health outcomes and met metrics are heading in, this, in the right direction. Uh, cases are going down, fewer people are being hospitalized, and a lot of people are being vaccinated. Airlines for America, the chief trade group for the nation's largest carriers, is one of the organizations asking the government for a collaborative plan to resend year-old restrictions on international travel. Give us the criteria. What are those triggers that we need to hit in order for them to lift the international travel restrictions. Meanwhile, travelers we spoke to at Kennedy Airport said they felt safe flying internationally. No problem. Yeah, I do feel comfortable. If you vaccinate it also with a, with a mask, everything only makes you go with a mask, I, I can, you can travel abroad, yes. With proper precaution uh, and consideration, I think it should be lifted. At JFK, I'm Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.